Good morning. Good morning, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. Happy Saturday. Yes, uh, Auntie just wanted to come over here and wish y'all a happy Saturday. And yes, and we still in February, <clears throat> Black History Month. And Auntie just wanted to be coming here and do something, you know, talk about some things that she experienced Black History Month. And um, I don't want no one to be uh, offended by the things that Auntie experienced, you know, because this was a long time ago. And like I say, you know, Auntie, I'm not prejudiced, but, you know, I hope none of my white subscribers feel offended or anything because this is what happened to Auntie. Like I say, you know, I go to a, a mixed church. My pastor is white, Brother Ballester. He's been my pastor over 20 years. And my church is um, mixed congregation. We got Africans, we got black people, and that's the church that I choose. And I always wanted a mixed con congregation church. I just didn't want to go to an all black church. So I've been, you know, I've been like that from a young girl. I always wanted to be mixed race because God see all us as one color. But, you know, <laughs> then, you know, we got these, uh, that, that consecrator, you know, she, she's talking about she don't see nobody should be counsel. And I still feel like Billy Bob should be counsel. <laughs> Auntie feel like that. And that's the way Auntie feel, regardless of what she say, you know, people have their money and their power, you know, maybe they ain't never experienced the stuff that Auntie experienced. Because, you know, coming up as, as a little girl, you know, I was like five or six years old. Um, school, I went to an all-black school until the fifth grade. And, you know, it's a shame that the black people had to fight for integration down here in Florida. Yes, a lot of black people got hurt, killed, and stuff like that at Florida, Alabama. They didn't want the the black and white people to mix. And you know, people who older than me and people who know about it, probably read books about it, you know. We have to educate this to our young people, you know, because a lot of them don't know stuff. You know, they really don't know. They don't know too much about, about black history, you know. And you know, they could be just from another country or something and just didn't know this happened. And you know, my brothers and them, they used to fight. Yeah, because, you know, the hippies back there in the days, they wanted freedom. They wanted everybody to be treated as equal. And, you know, people were so prejudiced, they didn't want this to happen. They wanted the blacks to keep on going to the black school, and they wanted the whites to keep on going to the white school. This actually happened. And it was a lot of riots and stuff. People got hurt. People got killed just because... We wanted to mix. And then see, people don't understand how powerful that word is. Because they probably don't even know nothing like this. They probably don't know, experience nothing like this, or seen nothing like this. Like auntie, my brothers and them used to come home bloody, shirts and stuff tall for them. Because of the police used to be fighting them and stuff because they didn't want them at the school. But, you know, they had that right to go to the school because the school said, yes, they can come here. But, you know, it was a, a, the prejudiced people did not want the black people to integrate. Y'all know George Wallace up there in Alabama. He even got shot because he protested. He protested so bad. That man was so prejudiced. He stood out in front of campus and he got shot because he wanted to keep the black and white people apart. But now look at us today. We is mixing. <laughs> I got black and white grandkids. You know, all that would happen. They, yes, this, these are true stories. But you know, things like that did happen back then and there. You know, we couldn't go to the same door. You know, I was five years old and I witnessed this because I didn't witness when we was living in Miami. But like I say, I don't told, you know, on a couple of my lives, my parents moved to Pasco County. And that's the first time I experienced prejudice. You know, and I didn't know what that mean, black to the real. Black people could not go to the, could not enter in the same door. Black people had a, a, a certain section that they had to eat at at the restaurant. This stuff is all true. 
But see, if you are an ignorant person and you don't know no better, that's why you say the things that you say is talking about this man should not be counseled and you don't, well, why would he still be counseled? What, what, what's wrong with him? We need to be counseled. Girl, you don't know nothing. <laughs> Just like people say, you copying it off other people. Maybe you should open up your books because if you're so college educated, you should know things like that. And I think more content creators should be supported in this Black History Month. I think more content creators, like lawyers and attorneys and stuff, they need to get people some education on it. But you know they're not going to do that. And I look at it on YouTube, and it's so elfin sad. All these educational people who use these big fancy ass words and shit, because y'all know Auntie don't use none of that shit. <laughs> but it's the knowledge that Auntie know. If you got that damn knowledge, you can spread that knowledge forever and ever and ever. And then I tell my kids, they gonna tell their kids. But when you just open up a damn book and you don't know ish, and you don't see why this man should be counseled, Billy Bob, that Billy Bob over there trying to put everything on Sherelle. Oh, I'm losing subs because of Sherelle. You know damn well you ain't losing subs because of Sherelle. You losing subs because you, cause you want to use the N-word. You know, sometimes, just like I say, you know, y'all keep pushing the petition and signing the petition. But sometimes people, you know, God let them allow them to hang themselves. And these petitions keep going, you probably will keep on losing um, subs. Because they waking up. If we as content creators, if we come out and just try to give our youth and people who don't know about what, what happening back there in those days and so and see how hard our great great ancestor fought for us to get like this for us to be together with each other for us to love on each other like this you know the world have came a long way you know, when I ride around in neighborhoods and stuff and I see black and white living there, because when I was a little girl, white people, black people only could live in certain neighborhoods. No, black people wouldn't dare to go try to live in those type of neighborhoods. And they still got this problem here in Florida. And y'all know Auntie Loretta ain't lying. It's certain places black people still can't live here in Florida because they'll tell a lie. They'll make up excuses. Because they don't want no blights there. So it still is happening. And then for uh, somebody like Billy Bob want to get on here and keep using that N-word, and you're going to sit up there and tell me, oh, you don't think that he should be canceled? I mean, please. But anyway, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, you know, Auntie, just want to come out here and touch bases and wish y'all a happy Saturday and let you know some, you know, things that went on that Auntie Ashley seen with her own eyes coming up as a little girl. And I want y'all to go ahead on, enjoy y'all Saturday, and enjoy y'all Valentine weekend. And I'll see you soon, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, and I love you guys, and y'all take care of yourself, okay? Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, and tell all your friends, tell all your friends and share these videos, share these uploads, because somebody may not know. Somebody may need to know this, okay? I love you guys. Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, bye-bye. Have a good day.